Okay, this is our third video, and we're gonna talk about the really three different systems in a vintage trailer. So you've got water, you've got power, which is split into 110 volt power and 12 volt power from a battery, and then propane. So first thing I'm gonna do is talk you through water, the different water systems. So this one has, and most vintage trailers have, both a tank that you can fill, usually about 15 gallons, um, plastic tank, and a direct line into the sink from a hose, outside hose. Now on these water heaters, or water fill tanks, they make a little attachment you put to the hose that allows you to stick the hose further down in there so it doesn't leak as much, leak as much. Those are very handy. Um, you don't want to overfill, so many of them have a overfill valve uh, that will um, release the water if it gets too full. And then when you uh, need to drain the water, I showed in the last video, there's a drain right down here underneath the water tank, right there. And um, that's what you turn to be able to fill the water tank. Empty. <clears throat> empty. Empty, sorry, empty the water tank. Um, so one th word of caution or something you need to know about um, running a hose to your trailer is you need a pressure regulator to make sure that um, you don't blow the pipes in your vintage trailer. So these are about $15 at Camping World or wherever, Walmart, and they keep the pressure down to 40 or 50 PSI so you don't blow your water tanks out. And you put this at the beginning of your hose on the faucet, then you run your hose into here, okay? So this is a water drain here. Other trailers have gray water tank that will drain the water into, and then you would drain it. You could uh, go to a Camping World or other uh, dump station and dump the water there. Let's see, so let's go inside now and look at the water situation inside. All right, so in this trailer, let's see how we did. Yeah, the water tank is under this sink seat and the pump is back in the back there. So you, it's run from the battery and then it I showed you this before, but it is powered by this pump. The, the water is, we don't have water in here because it's winter. You can hear it though, a little bit in there still. And that turns the pump on and off. Again, you can also manually pump water with this, uh, this trailer. Um, if you have a bathroom, then you'd have the toilet and the sink and the shower that would drain out into the gray water tank. All right, what else am I missing on the water? I think that's it. Okay, that's an overview of the water. Um, just a couple of watch outs. Number one, again, don't forget the water pressure regulator at the beginning of the hose, you don't blow your pipes. Two, when you are um, done for the winter or done for the season, you wanna drain all the water out and blow it out and even put some antifreeze in to, and fill the pipes with antifreeze. That's the best way to ensure you don't get frozen pipes. That is if you live in a place like us, like Utah, where it gets cold. Third thing is, when you're ready to use it again in the summer, I like to put about a tablespoon of bleach into the water tank and run it through just to get rid of any bacteria that might be in there from the season. So that's your water. Next, we'll talk about propane. Have a great day.